day, mate. You go. Yeah. Yeah, hop in. G'day, Joe. I'm Jim. We spoke on the phone last night. That's Evan there next to you. And filthy over the front here with me. Hey, hope you got plenty of food in that tucker box of yours. These boys are going to keep you busy today and you're going to need plenty of energy to keep up with them. The shed's about half an hour out of town here, so if you want anything, yell out and we'll stop at the little shop up the road. Nah, I'm right, thanks. So have you got a tax file number? Yep. What about a super fund? No, I haven't got one of those. Oh, that's okay. They're easy enough to set up. Now, you're going to earn a fair bit of money while you're out here, and you should be able to save a fair bit of it. There's not a great deal to spend it on, you know. Now, have you done any work in any sheds at all? No, oh, I haven't. I've got a mate who's done a bit. He, um, he told me about it, so I thought I'd give it a go. Well, if you're pretty keen, like, that's half the battle won, mate. Shouldn't be any real dramas. When we get out to the shed, I'll introduce you to Eileen. She's one of the best in the business. She'll show you the ropes. She'll get you going. Oh, Pete. Hello, Frank. Hey, boy. Hey, Eileen. This is Joe. He's a new fellow. He's going to be working for your day. Just want to introduce him around while I get this stuff out. Hey. How you going, Joe? Good. Alrighty. You met some of the boys on the land. You got Phil on three and Pillow on number four. Frank's our wool closer. How you going, Joe? And Angela's our other wool handler. Okay, let's get started. First day on the job. A little bit nervous. Everyone seems to know each other pretty well. I hope I fit in. Alright, the guys are getting started now. So they've obviously signed us off. With the paddle work, you're going to go over, sweep out the crack pool area, sweep the floor in between feet, and also prepare the belly wall. Now I'll show you how to sort it. Alright. Okay, so bend down at the knees. Yep. Gee, I don't know if I can handle this. Mate said it would be good work, but, you know, a bit unsure. There's so much information. It's a lot tougher than I thought. Don't know if I can keep up. Are you OK if I show Joe the job on the table, just to give him a whole perspective of the job? Yeah, that would be great. OK, we've got time. Evan's here. They make it look so easy. I guess practice makes perfect. What do you think of the job so far? Oh, it's a bit harder than I thought, but uh, I like it so far. Okay, with skirting, um, the first thing is you can see that fleece there. We need a good flat throw, like Eileen's just done. Yep. You can see that it's, a, it's opened our area up. When the fleeces are thrown badly, it makes it so much harder, okay? But if you're all right with that, we'll talk more at Smoko. Yeah, sure. It's really important that the wool's prepared to meet the processor's needs and we get the best return for the grower. Well, so that all depends on you putting the fleeces in the right bins? No, it's a team effort. Look what a wool handler has to do. Remove stain and medulated fibres from the crutch and shanks on the board. Handle the bellies on the board. Pick up, throw the fleece correctly onto the table. Separate inferior wool from the fleece and keep the whole area clean. I didn't realise it was my job to know what to look for in the wool. If you concentrate on keeping the stained wool out and skirting efficiently, we've got the job in hand. Why is keeping the stain wool out so important? Wool clothing is at the top end of the market and you need to be able to dye it any colour. The trouble with stain, it can only be dyed dark colours and that makes it less valuable. Efficient skirting is the other thing that will put some dollars in the boss's pocket and hopefully we'll get back next year. So we're trying to get all the burrs and stuff out of the fleece? No, that's what the machines are for in the processing plant. Concentrate on fribs, sweat stain, short wool and I'll tell you if I need to get anything else out. So what are fribs? Fribs are the black sweaty bits on the edge of the fleece. We need to remove those because they won't wash as clean as a mainline fleece and will affect it in the dyeing process. So what happens to the lines that we separate out? They all have different uses and the buyers have to know exactly what's in each bale of wool. Yeah, it makes sense. Help hands pick up. If you sweep the floor, you'll be perfect. You're right, mate. Gee, I'm getting it now. All that information just really sets in after a while. Everyone's real helpful. It's okay if you make a few mistakes. They understand. Angela said that she made a few mistakes when she started too. It's all about teamwork, I guess. 
They really do understand if you don't get it first time. When these guys have nearly finished that fleece, would you like to have another go at picking up and trying? Hey. Oh. That's pretty good. No. All first timers do it that way. Most of it's on the table. And a nice flick. Well done. That was a great throw. Gee, I didn't know I could do that. A nice throw. Well, that one's a bit average. Awesome. I guess it's just about doing it over and over and over again. This is all right. I think I can handle this. I'll be back tomorrow.